and welcome back, and welcome to my channel for tonight's video. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a somewhat cognition screen, but mainly I'm going to have you, you, pay attention and listen to what I say, and it's going to help you relax, and hopefully get a good night's sleep. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So I'm going to start off here by writing down a series of numbers I want you to repeat them back to me. Four. Seven. Eight. Three. Four. Seven. Eight. I'm going to have you try to keep that in mind. So, for this part, I want you to tell me what color you see coming across your screen, okay? What? Red? Yellow. Perfect. Now, I want you to tell me what you see me spelling out, okay? Yes, A. M. Good job. Good job, L. Yeah, R. Good job. That was a hard one. We're going to do a few more here. Yes, X. Good job. That one was Y. Last one here. Okay, excellent. So, do you remember what the series of numbers was? Yes, four. Good, seven. Last one. Good job. It was three, four, seven, eight, three. Okay. I'm going to write down another series, but this time it's going to be letters.
I want you to remember those and keep that in the back of your mind, okay? Now, for the next part of my evaluation, I want you to tell me which point is closer. A or point B. Point A or point B. Point A or point B. Excellent. Let's do a few more of these. Point A. Or point B. Good. Point A. Or point B. Good. Let's do a few more. Point A or point B. Good. Point A or point B. Excellent. Now, do you remember what the series of letters was? M. Yes, L. Good job. Next, I'm going to write down three different colors that I want you to remember. Red. This one is a little bit of an intuition test. I have a little jar of different colored markers. And I want you to try and guess which one I'm going to grab. There's a thin pink, a thin blue, there are two thin black, a thick purple, a thick red, a thick green. mess around with them, and then I want you to be thinking about which one I'm going to be grabbing. This doesn't really test anything outside of your intuition. I want you to try and remember the order that I grab them in as well. Okay, so I'm going to grab one in 3, 
three, two, one. I grabbed the green. Did you guess that I was going to grab the green expo marker? Did you? Okay, well, I want you to remember that the first one I grabbed was green. are in your favorite if you pick a black. You don't want that one. That makes sense. Well, I'm going to pick another one. In three, two, one. The blue one. I picked the thin blue one. Did you you know that I was going to pick the blue one. Okay. You should not remember. Blue was the second one. And green was my first pick. Okay, let's see. Which one do you think I'm going to pick next? I don't even know which one to pick, so let's see what I grab in three, two, one. I grabbed the purple. Did you know that I was going to grab the purple? Did you guess correctly? Well, well you are impressive. So now I need you to remember that purple was the third one that I selected. Purple was the third selection. Now, I'm going to pick one last one. Okay, so I'm going to pick one last one. And three... Two, one. I picked the classic black. Did you guess that I was going to pick the black? Okay, so if you're able, what was the order that I selected the markers in? Good. First was green. Second was blue. Third was purple. And last was black. Okay, so now. Three colors that I wrote down were. This one's a little bit harder because I threw you off with trying to remember these colors. So let's see how you do. Impressive. Yes, the first one is red. Yes, orange. What was last? thing that I want you to try to remember is a specific word. Now it's 
not written the best, but the word is Excellent. Same thing. Tell me when you see it across your screen. Good job. Great. Again, tell me when you see the light. this a few more times. Let me know when you see the light. Make sure that your eyes are closed. Perfect. And again. Great job. Okay, last one. Excellent. Now, I want you to open your eyes. And this time, I'm going to have you just simply follow the light. But, I want you to also be staring at this finger. So, I guess don't really follow the light. But, make sure that you can still see it. And if it goes out of your vision, let me know. So I want you to keep looking at my finger here. And be sure that you are able to follow the light. Keeping an eye on my finger. For some reason, you can no longer see the light. From left to right. Left to right. Same thing, but keep an eye on this finger. using your peripheral vision to see the light. Let's do this a few more times. Good job. to 
draw a face. And I simply want you to remember if it is a happy face, a sad face, angry, or what it is, okay? So I drew a happy face with the tongue sticking out. So I want you to remember that detail as well. Now, I'm simply going to brush my hand over your eyes and your face. And I want you to blink with me slowly as I do it. brushes the screen and I want you to pay attention to how heavy your eyelids are starting to feel and if you need I want you to go ahead and feel free to keep your eyes closed comfortable because we're going to come up on the end of our session today and I want you to be relaxed and try to sleep if you can for those of you that are still awake you to be thinking about what face I drew as you blink, as you blink. still awake, do you remember what face I drew? Very good. What specific detail did I ask you to remember? Yes, there was a tongue sticking out. Now, I didn't ask you to remember this, but I'm going to test to see how good your memory is. What color was the sharpie 
that I used to draw the face and all the other series in this notebook. Yes, it was green. Cornflakes. Red, orange, black. W. Good night, everybody.